Hello and good day, everybody. This is Kyla, and this is the State of Health. Today, we're going to delve into a rather bizarre but increasingly common condition in the U.S. known as alpha-gal syndrome. Now imagine this. You're out on a hike, you get bitten by a tick, and the next thing you know, you're allergic to your favorite mouth-watering steak or Sunday roast. Sounds like a plot twist straight out of a sci-fi movie, right? But guess what? The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention have seen a dramatic surge in the number of Americans dealing with this red meat allergy. To give you a ballpark figure, since 2010, as many as 450,000 people might have been impacted by this. And you thought giving up burgers for Lent was tough. Alpha-gal syndrome first came to light in 2008 with a handful of cases in Virginia. But since then, we've seen those numbers grow like Jack's beanstalk. The intriguing part is, many cases might be slipping through the cracks. The CDC believes a lot of American doctors aren't even aware of this red meat allergy. According to Dr. Johanna Salzer of the CDC, this lack of awareness among our fellow clinicians could mean several cases are flying under the radar. Here's where the plot thickens. A study utilized data from Eurofins Viracor, a lab that conducted most of the alpha-gal testing prior to 2022. What they found is that the number of positive blood tests for this syndrome have generally been on an upward trend each year, from about 13,000 in 2017 to nearly 19,000 in 2021. So who's the villain in our story? Enter the Lone Star Tick. This tiny critter's saliva has been linked to the allergy, and they're primarily found in southern and eastern states, from Texas to Maine. However, there have been clusters of positive tests in Minnesota and Wisconsin, places these ticks aren't known to frequent. We've also seen cases linked to other types of ticks outside the U.S., so there's still a lot of mystery surrounding this condition. Alpha-gal syndrome is an allergic reaction to a sugar molecule found in foods made from mammals, like beef, pork, or lamb. Some patients can still enjoy milk or cheese, but others aren't so lucky. Even some products derived from animals, like gelatin, can trigger reactions, as can certain vaccines or capsules used in medication. Reactions can range from mild symptoms such as rashes and nausea to severe, life-threatening anaphylaxis. And here's the kicker. These reactions can show up anywhere from two to six hours after exposure to the allergen. Much about alpha-gal syndrome remains unknown. Why does the saliva of the lone star tick lead to this allergy? And how can we effectively treat it? The CDC's advice for now is to avoid tick bites, especially during the warmer months. Insect repellents and avoiding heavily wooded or brushy areas where ticks thrive are your best bet. So keep your eyes peeled for those ticks, folks, and maybe reconsider that second serving of steak. All right, folks, before you rush off, do me a favor. If you enjoyed what you heard today and want more, jump over to your favorite podcatcher of choice and check out the State of Health podcast by MedSchool. We're chatting up all things health and the latest medical stuff. Hit subscribe, leave a review if you feel like it, and join our health-loving crew. Trust me, you won't regret it. Stay tuned for our next episode where we will continue to keep you updated on the newest medical news and research. Until then, keep your curiosity peaked and your stethoscope close.